Have you ever thought about investing in a mortgage note? I mean, everyone's heard of mortgage note investing. It's a way to make money off of other people's mortgages. Mortgage notes are an easy and exciting way to invest your money and honestly, it's an overlooked method of investing that has been around for decades. But as a beginner, there are some things you need to understand before venturing into this endeavor. Lucky for you, not only will you learn about what is mortgage note investing, but if you stay until the end of this video, we'll show you three key strategies that will help in investing in mortgage notes. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Mortgage note investing was originally used by banks as a way to diversify their portfolios and make more money. But now anyone can do it. First and foremost, what is a mortgage note? When you buy a mortgage note, you're essentially buying a debt owned by the borrower to their lender. When you buy a mortgage note, you take over as the new owner of the debt associated with that note. You will make payments to the original lender until it's paid off in full and then collect any remaining balance after that. It is therefore a legal document that secures a loan. In layman's terms, this means that the original borrower has signed an agreement to pay back the money they borrowed from you. They've given you a piece of paper promising to make payments on time every month until your investment matures. Mortgage note investing is one way that you can invest in real estate without actually owning any property yourself. What are different types of real estate mortgage notes? Number 1. Fixed Rate Mortgage Loans A fixed rate mortgage loan is a loan that offers the borrower a fixed interest rate for the life of the loan. This means that they know what their monthly payments will be and they won't be subject to rising rates in the future. The benefit of this type of mortgage is that it offers certainty in terms of your monthly payment amount and also ensures that you'll always be able to pay off your loan at an affordable rate. However, there are some drawbacks. If interest rates fall, you won't be able to take advantage of them and could end up paying more than necessary over time. Homeowners who wish to lock in their monthly payments for a predetermined amount of time may find that a mortgage with a fixed rate is an interesting choice to pursue. There are usually penalties involved with cancelling a fixed rate mortgage early, so it is important to consider all aspects of your financial situation before choosing this type of loan. Now if you've discovered this channel for the first time, you should know that every week we upload new videos in real estate investing. Therefore, if you want to stay up to date, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. Now let's go to number 2, the graduated payment mortgage. The graduated payment mortgage is a type of loan where the repayment amount increases or graduates over time. This means that in the beginning, you'll pay a small amount of interest and gradually increase your payments as your loan balance decreases. In most cases, this means that you'll be paying more interest in the long run, but if you're trying to save money or make a big purchase and need the extra income, it can be a good option. If you want to keep your total monthly payment low while still paying off your debt in a fair amount of time, this form of loan is an excellent alternative for you to consider. People who wish to buy a home but haven't been able to save enough money for a significant down payment or closing costs are also frequent borrowers of this type of loan. Number 3. An Adjustable Rate Mortgage An Adjustable Rate Mortgage or ARM is a loan with an interest rate that can change over time. If you have an adjustable rate mortgage, your monthly payment will be lower than it would be on a fixed rate mortgage. This is because the interest rate on an ARM changes over time and it usually increases as the years go by. The advantage of this type of mortgage is that you can take advantage of low interest rates when they're available and lock in a low monthly payment for as long as possible. The disadvantage is that you don't know how much your payments will be after the initial fixed period of time has passed until you actually pay off your loan, which may mean that you'll have to sell or refinance your home before then if you want to avoid having to pay more than expected each month. The bottom line is this, if you're interested in getting a lower monthly payment today and are willing to pay more in the future, an adjustable rate mortgage might be perfect for you. But if you're looking for stability and certainty in the future, an ARM might not be the best choice. Number 4. Balloon Payment Mortgage Balloon payment mortgages are a type of loan that requires you to make a large payment at the end of your mortgage term. You make smaller payments each month, but pay off the entire loan balance at once. It's called a balloon payment because it's like you're paying off the loan with one big payment, rather than spreading out the payments over time. You see, here's the catch. If you don't pay off your balloon payment mortgage in full, you'll have to pay penalties and interest on the unpaid balance. In other words, with the balloon payment mortgage, you're paying off your mortgage over time as usual. But once you reach a certain point, your monthly payments will suddenly increase by an enormous amount. Kind of like how when you're blowing up all those smaller balloons, they all start coming together into one big one. The point is, balloon payments can be risky because they mean that if your income changes or something happens and you can't afford the higher payments anymore, then just like that, your mortgage will be gone in just one month instead of over several years like it would have been otherwise. Number 5. Interest-Only Loan 
An interest-only loan is a type of debt in which the borrower only pays interest on the amount borrowed, but does not make any payments towards the principal. Unlike traditional loans where you pay off your debt over time with interest, an interest-only loan allows you to pay off your mortgage with just interest for a set period of time, usually five years or less. This can be helpful if you want to buy a home and are short on cash, but have enough income to make periodic payments on the mortgage. Now the question is, isn't it risky? Well, it actually is. But the reason why most people choose to take out an interest-only loan is that they have large savings or investments, and they want to use their money to make as much profit as possible. They can use that profit to pay off their mortgage at some point in the future. Here's the risky part. When the time comes to pay off the principal, you'll have to make one large payment instead of smaller ones over time. This could mean having to sell some investments or liquidate other assets to pay off your debt. How do I invest in real estate mortgage notes? To put it quite simply, invest in performing mortgage notes for slow and steady returns. Now, what's better than slow and steady returns? Slow and steady with a good chance of getting ahead. That's why investing in performing mortgage notes is a good idea, because when you're looking for a way to make money, you don't want to be in a hurry. You want to have time to think it through, so that when you make your next move, it's the right one. It's the same with investing. You don't want to rush into something without thinking about it first. You need to take your time and get things right, because if you don't, you'll end up losing money instead of making it. And then, where will you be? Purchase non-performing notes, foreclose, and flip. Purchasing non-performing notes, foreclosing and flipping it is a good investment strategy because of these reasons. Number one, it is a low-risk option to invest in real estate. It works especially well for investors who do not have experience in real estate investing or are just starting out. Number two, the risk is lower than other types of investments that are not as easy to get into such as stocks or bonds because there is no need for too much time or money to be spent on researching the market. Number three, you can get a lot of money out of it. Foreclosing on a property can yield a high amount of money, especially if it's in an up-and-coming area or if it's an expensive property. Number four, you don't have to deal with the hassle of owning real estate yourself, which means you can focus on other things that are more important to you than taking care of a house or apartment building. Always try to work with a mortgage note broker. Working with a mortgage note broker is an important part of investing because it can help you save money, make money, and get a better deal on your investment. Mortgage note brokers are experts in the field of real estate investing and they have access to thousands of properties for sale all across the country. They can help you find properties that meet your criteria, negotiate the best terms for your investment, and even manage the entire transaction for you. This means that you don't have to worry about finding the right property or handling any of the paperwork involved in buying it. All of that is done by your mortgage note broker. The heart of the matter is this. Mortgage note investing is a good way to make massive income as an investment. But the reality is, you should always research any potential deals before committing yourself financially. But if done right, trust me, mortgage note investing can be very profitable. In fact, if you want a better understanding of how to invest in rental properties as a complete beginner, I'll explain step by step in this next video here. So click the video on the screen now and I'll see you in the next one.